now former Labor Secretary nominee Andy Puster. It's great to have you on. So Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan Chase testifies before House Financial Services yesterday saying Biden's tax hikes are, quote, a mistake. He's saying we risk a federal debt default. And now we find out that the Biden $6 trillion budget projects a tepid, weak 2% annual economic growth. It's like they're admitting that all this government spending is go-nowhere stuff. What do you say? Uh, well, Jamie Dimon is a smart guy, and he uh, he nailed it. This is a, a very dangerous tax plan when it comes to economic growth. It, it, it really, when you look at the amount of spending, $6 trillion, they want to raise taxes on everything. They're going to let, um, even though they promised tax, uh, there'd be no tax increases for middle and working class families, people that made under $400,000. Uh, he's going to let the tax cuts that uh, Trump uh, enacted expire. That's part of how he's going to raise funds. So they will be, they will see a tax increase. This is a very dangerous plan. It's unhinged from reality. It's a progressive wish list. Uh, I got to hope it doesn't get through Congress. You know, the middle class tax cuts that Trump put in place, as you point out, will expire in 2025. The New York Times reporting that he, Biden cannot reinstate them because he can't pay for all of his spending. And now we're seeing a price shock today. The stocks, the Dow and the S&P shrugged this off, but core PCE shot higher to 3.1%. Last time we saw that, George H.W. Bush was president, and the, co the country was still recovering from stagflationary, you know, 1980s era. We're seeing 60s, 70s, 80s type of inflation price spikes higher in terms of the, how the speed of it. And, you know, do they risk having, you know, how Nixon got elected and Reagan got elected because of things like inflation? Is that what's going to happen now? Yeah. Well, that's certainly a huge risk for the Democrats. And uh, Larry Summers, you know, who was the Secretary of the Treasury under Clinton and the head of the Council of Economic Advisors under uh, President Obama, is out there warning that, you know, Republicans are going to win elections because, um, when, when, as you said, Nixon and Reagan won based on inflation. And he's very fearful uh, that inflation is going to just take off. We're going to have the kind of hyperinflation we saw back in 1979, 1980. And that will be devastating for the economy, particularly, again, for working and middle class families. They're going to see the dollars they have dissipate in value. They're going to see goods go up in, in price. Uh, and they're going to see their taxes go up. So this, this is a horrible, horrible, horrible plan. And it's contrary to everything that Joe Biden promised during the, uh, during the election. You know, Jen Psaki, the White House press secretary, said, talked about things like gas prices. She's saying, quote, it, they're well in line with recent decades. And then we have uh, Austin Goolsby saying the American people voted for Biden's $6 trillion budget and his spending. What do you say to those two comments? Well, I don't think that I, I think that's number one. You can't say that all everybody that voted for Biden uh, voted based on his uh, his going in and spending more money than any president has ever contemplated spending more money than we more money as a percentage of GDP than we spent uh, to win World War II. I mean, this is you, people voted for Biden for a number of different reasons. Some of them were angry with President Trump. Uh, some of them voted for him because they're they're Democrats and they they just happen to like this kind of a program. Uh, so no, they, the um, uh, what what Goolsby said is is absurd. That's this is not what people voted for. People were voting for a moderate Democrat. They weren't voting for an ultra progressive, ultra liberal. A Democrat president to come in and really turn this economy from one that was was doing so well back in 2018 and 19 before the pandemic hit and turning it into some ridiculous, as I said, unhinged socialist approach to every issue. Spending, you can't, you can't possibly believe that you can you can create economic growth by simply spending. You can't spend yeah. your way to prosperity. So and history has shown that over and over. Listen, the middle class, they got to get ready. In four years' time, their taxes are going to go up because the Trump tax cuts expire, yep. and the word is that they can't reinstate them because of all the spending. All right, Andy Puzder, thanks for joining us. Good to see you. Coming up.